for today's video I'm going to be toning my bleach blonde hair to match my silver synthetic dreadlocks that I have with Schwarzkopf silver shampoo. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have these silver synthetic single-ended dreadlocks and I plan to install these into my hair. So you can see between my hair and the dreads there is a slight colour difference so I'm going to tone the bleach blonde hair I have to try and get a good colour match with these dreadlocks and then I'm going to be putting these dreadlocks in so I can have a full head of dreadlocks without having them completely permanent because just gonna braid these in and the dreads I have these are permanent so without the full commitment I'm gonna be using Schwarzkopf silver shampoo to help tone out the bleach blonde yellow I have and hopefully it will be the same color as the dreads so here I have one of the synthetic dreads so it's not too much of a color difference so we're just gonna have to tone out the, the bright yellow. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly shampoo my hair like I would do when I normally wash it. So I'm going to lightly wash my hair with a plain shampoo like head and shoulders first, just to remove any oils that I might have on my hair. So the product of the shampoo absorbs better. I'm gonna let my hair dry as well a little bit, and then we're going to apply the silver shampoo straight over the top of my hair and hopefully it will tone to a really nice silver colour. So I just washed my hair with head and shoulders just to remove any of the excess oils off my hair so the shampoo absorbs better. So I'm going to dry my hair slightly with the hair dryer and then I'm going to apply this silver shampoo. So I'm going to use the silver shampoo straight from the bottle, I'm just going to put it into a bowl and then apply it straight onto my hair. So now we have the shampoo, I'm just going to apply it straight onto my hair. Okay, so now the silver shampoo has been applied to all of my roots, I'm going to just pull it down my hair with my hands so it goes onto the ends. So it's all blended up. Give it a good massage. And I'm just going to put the rest of the shampoo onto the ends of the hair so it's completely covered. Okay, so now I've applied the silver shampoo to all of my hair. I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes because my hair was quite light to start off with. I don't want the shampoo to turn it purple or violet. <laughs> so if you decide to do this and your hair wasn't as light as mine, I would recommend leaving the shampoo on for longer, probably about 25 minutes to half an hour, and then it will help neutralize all that yellow. So it's been about 15 minutes and I'm going to go and wash this out like I would do normally in the shower. Ooh. I'm pretty happy with the results. It's definitely a white blonde now <laughs> rather than like a yellowy blonde. My bangs still look a little bit yellow. That's only because I previously dyed them with yellow hair dye. So it's more yellow than the rest of what my bleached hair was. So but the bleached hair has definitely lightened up to a beautiful white blonde. They're so 
white. Wow. <laughs> So I ended up leaving the silver shampoo on my hair for about 10 minutes. If I left it on for a longer, like 20 minutes, it would have gone more of a silver colour. But it's gone a really nice, pretty shade of white blonde, so I'm really happy it's got rid of all of the yellowy tones. All of the bleached hair is a beautiful shade of white blonde. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, go subscribe for more, and keep on the lookout for my next hair transformation video. So thanks for watching guys, bye. What?